What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are continuing our Regulation G showcasing with Eternatus today. Now, Eternatus, a really dope poison and dragon type Pokemon from Pokemon Sword and Shield Generation 8 that can actually hit like a truck. It's got pressure and it's power herb as item, rock and meteor beam. So we can actually use that in one turn with the power herb, get that special attack boost. And then from there, our stab moves are just lighting it up with Sludge Bomb and Dynamax Cannon. The last move, obviously going to be Protect, making this Pokemon amazing in double battles. You definitely want to stick around and watch how hard this Pokemon can hit. But other Pokemon on today's team feature a bunch of meta Pokemon. You got Fluttermane and Chiyu, normal little combo, but Chiyu can actually pair up with Eternatus. Fluttermane over here has got Protosynthesis with the booster energy, and then it's got Dazzle Gleam, Moonblast, Icy Wind for Speed Control, and then Protect. Chiyu's got the choice specs, doing big time damage. We got Tornadus for support, with Pranks or Mental Herb, Tailwind support, Liquid Storm, Taunt, Sunny Day, can't go wrong with that. And then our last two are going to be Wellspring Ogre Pond and Dark and Fighting Urshifu. This Urshifu's got the Focus Ash, and then it's got its normal moveset of Wicked Blow, Close Combat, Sucker Punch, and Attack. So like I said, meta team with Eternatus on it. We should be able to grab some wins for you guys. If you guys want to rent this team for yourself, rental code is at the top right hand corner. And if you do enjoy today's video, make sure you leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel. But without further ado, let's hop into our first match. First match coming at you guys, and we are going up against a Kyogre Rain team alongside a Tornadus, Landorus, Urshifu, or not Urshifu, Rillaboom, Incineroar, and King Gambit. So this team right here is probably going to be a meta team when Regulation G releases on rank, so we're going to have to watch out for this. But a Pokemon that I want to lead here is definitely going to be Tornadus. It's our only way of weather control, so we need it. If they go Kyogre, Tornadus, going to be a slight issue here, but I still like this lead right here of Tornadus and potentially Eternatus, right? Because if they go Kyogre Tornadus, we can just set Sunny Day, we can pop Meteor Beam, we can get rid of Tornadus, do some big time damage on that slot, and kind of get going from there. But a Pokemon in the back end that I'm going to like is going to be Ogre Pond, going to be super effective onto the Incineroar, onto the, uh, onto the Kyogre, and onto the Landorus, really good combo right there. And then last but not least, do I want Fluttermane, do I want Shiyu, or do I want Urshifu? Now, Urshifu is going to be good here just because of Focus Ash and first turn priority, and that's kind of making me want to bring it, right? Chiyu could be good here, but that's only if we can get the sun out here. Same thing with, or I wouldn't say same thing with Fluttermane. I think Fluttermane could be good regardless. But I just like Urshifu here, because if they end up bringing King Gambit, then Fluttermane just gets stumped on. It just gets stumped on. So we'll see. This one's definitely going to be a tough matchup for us going up against this straight meta team. But we'll see. We'll see. Eternatus looking to grab ourselves a win here in match number one. Eternatus probably on the lower side of of i would say like the ranks of the best regulation g pokemon but still it's a really fun pokemon to use and it actually hits like a truck so they're gonna go kyogre tornadus here so we go tornadus and our eternatus now eternatus actually is uh resist water i believe which is pretty good for me but anything kyogre in the rain really does big time damage i could end up taunting depending on our speed i mean i have mental herbs so i think sunny day is just gonna be our best friend here I think Sunny Day is just going to be your best friend. So I'm just going to go Sunny Day here. I'm going to pop it. And I'm just going to throw a Meteor Beam right into the Tornado slot. Right into the Tornado slot. Because if I can get rid of that and get rid of the weather, <clears throat> that could be good for us. So out comes Meteor Beam here. We're outspeeding Kyogre. We're outspeeding Tornado. He didn't go for Tailwind or Rain Dance. Which is pretty good on our end, right? If you're not Focus Ash here, I'm going to love this turn. And you're not. So Meteor Beam. Getting rid of it turn one. We love that. Get it on out of here. So you're gone. Your tail when you're just gone. Ice Beam's going to fly into mine. Now, are we dead to that? We survive, which is massive. That's actually massive. So chances are, I would say Kyogre potentially swaps out here. Which makes the most sense, right? Because they want to get weather control. But I mean, at this point, just getting off Tailwind and getting rid of their Tornadus is huge. So I'm going to go Tailwind. Um, I could go Dynamax Cannon in this slot. I could Dynamax Cannon the other slot. And honestly, like I said, I think you're going to swap the Kyogre here. And I mean, if you don't, you don't. I could end up just terrestrializing grass, but that doesn't really help me. Actually, it does. It does kind of help me. Because if you're going to go for a ground move, that'd be fine. So, yep, there's the withdrawal of Kyogre. We're going to go into a grass terror type now. We are going to have to watch out for Ice Beam. But King Gambit's going to fly here, which isn't bad. It's not, that's not, that's not bad for me. That's not bad, because like I said, I have Urshifu in the back end. This is one of the reasons why I brought Urshifu, in case they bring King Gambit. So we turn to getting the Terror-type. We're not dying out to a ground move here. Not dealing with it. 
and we'll see what they want to do here because I'm going to be able to outspeed. And honestly, this Dynamax Cannon plus one on Orlando has a chance to KO it. Base 100 power, stab, plus one on special attack. We love it. We love it. We love it. So maybe we didn't even have to te Terra. And we get a crit anyway, so we kind of just wasted Terra. But I don't mind this. I, I, don't, I don't mind what we're saying. Because now they're forced to bring back out Kyogre. And guess what? My Tornadus is still on the field. So I'm going to just get Sunny Day going and just have no rain for them. They get no turns in rain. Not a single turn in rain. So Sunny Day back onto the field. We're going to go for a Dynamax Cannon into the Kyogre slot. Because again, I'm not worried about King Gambit. I got Urshfu to deal with that. But I can see him just canceling battle here. They don't. But Sunny Day back out. Bring out the sun. No rainy day for us. Dynamax Cannon going into Kyogre. He could Ice Beam me here, but I think he turns this might be able to eat up an Ice Beam. But that's some nice damage on the Kyogre there. And he goes for a Calm Mind boost. Okay. So Calm Mind is boosting. Can you take out my Tornadus, please? Can you just take it out, King Gambit? No, I said, can you take out my Tornadus? I really need you to take out my Tornadus. So he's going to get a Calm Mind boost. He's going to get leftovers out here, too. He could end up protecting here could end up protecting um might as well just drop the liquid storm and we'll go into a dynamax cannon here tiger protects smart low protect hopefully we don't get a speed drop on the king gambit that'd be a little rough on our end that would be a little rough would be a tad bit rough but again i like the pokemon that we have we're sitting in a great position they got kyogre in the sun i mean ice beam gonna be the big damage breaker here and King Gambit dodges that move anyway. So there's that. He's going to go for another Kalthak Cleave, which Eternity soaks up. If you got Sucker Punch, you can KO me. If you got Sucker Punch, which most likely you do, right? Most likely we do. We could hard swap you at this point, maybe into like Ogre Pond. But I'd rather just play this one out, right? I'd rather just play this one out, go for Bleak Wind Storm. Go for Dynamax Cannon. Let's just do that. Yeah, there's Sucker Punch. No big deal. No big deal. Considering I like where we're sitting, I like our back-end Pokemon. I could have swapped and tried to make a play there, but I think once these Pokemon go out here, my back-end Pokemon are just going to come out here and and look for look for the win, right? So there's that. Can we get a speed drop on the Kyogre? Just Kyogre. No, no, not King Gambit. Not King Gambit. Not King Gambit. We don't like that. This thing's going to combine boost again. Again, like, my Pokemon in the back-end are awesome. Um, I still have Terra, and you don't take out my Tornadus, which is kind of annoying me. It really is. It really is annoying me. It really is annoying me. But we can set up another Tailwind, so I'm just going to go into you here. Um, I think we just hard swap you. And then we just go into close combat, correct? Did they use Terra? They did not. I could just go Wicked Blow into Kyogre and finish Kyogre off. That's what I'm going to do. If you want to protect Kyogre, you can protect. But Wicked Blow hits you to protect, crits, your combine boost, get you out out of here. I like that. I like that play. <clears throat> we could have went for another Tailwind, but again, I like this. And I think they're going to throw outside King Gambit over anything. So that comes to Terror type. Is it going to be King Gambit? It is. Fairy. Fairy. Okay, cool. So good thing I didn't go for the close combat there. I mean, the fairy move could do some big time damage to me, but I am focus ash, which is awesome. And Wicked Blow is just out speed. So bang, see you later, Kyogre. Get it on out of here. And that's why I said I really wasn't worried too much. That's why I said I really wasn't worried too, too much. There's a low kick here. We're going to be able to soak. And you could just go for a sucker punch if you want to. That's if you want to. If you would like to. But honestly, I might go for a sucker punch just to outspeed your sucker punch. How about them apples? How about them apples? Should I do that? That's exactly what we do. If you want to go for Sucker Punch, we're just going to Sucker Punch before your Sucker Punch, so your Sucker Punch doesn't work. And no, you're not even going for Sucker Punch. So Horn Leech is going to be able to do some nice damage here. He used to find boost it. He's going to go for Cow Tap Leaf. I mean, again, I don't really mind. I mean, now we can freely go for Bleak Wind Storms. Um, I'm kind of waiting for the sun to end. Let's be honest here. There we go. I was kind of waiting for the sun to end just so I could start using Ivy Cudgel. <laughs> so now we can go into Ivy Cudgel. Um, he has plus two on attack, though, which is kind of scary to me. But I'm just going to be able to go for that. I am just going to be able to go for Bleak Wind Storm. And hopefully we can just finish off this match. And of course, Bleak Wind Storm's missing. Ivy Cudgel, can you just finish this off? You're making this a bit too hard for me. 
Let's see. You don't. We might lose this. Honestly, we might lose this. If this KOs me, I lose. Okay, we don't lose. Awesome. Unless we, 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 we miss an attack. I was going to say, if that KOs me, we lose this all day because then he could just Sucker Punch. But now I can double down with Bleak Wind Storm. I doubt we're missing again. There's the Sucker Punch. If you miss another Bleak Wind Storm, I'm going to be so upset. I'm going to be so upset if you miss another Bleak Wind Storm. You got this all day, Tornados. Okay, cool. I was going to say, this match came a bit closer than I wanted to, but I felt really confident in that one. We started off hot. We grabbed ourselves a win there. And we started off 1-0. This game just loves putting me up against Kyogre. We won the first time going up against it. Hopefully we can win the second time. I don't know. It's honestly tough. It's honestly tough. But Tornadus going to have to be our best friend. We're going to lead that Pokemon and just try to counter it, right? So I'm going to do that. I'm going to also go into Eternatus, kind of like we did in the last match. And honestly, I'm bringing in the same squad. I like the same squad here. I like it a lot. Um, we don't have to worry about King Gambit this time. King Gambit was a big time problem, especially after... They lucked out, and we got a speed drop on that, just boosting its Defiant to plus two, so it was just doing massive damage left and right. So, I mean, I like this team, but Kyogre, if they can get weather control, they're going to they're gonna smack up on us. But they're going to go Kyogre and Tornadus, and we're same lead here, so I might try to pull off the same thing that I did last time. Sunny Day into Meteor Beam, and hope that this thing's not Focus Sash. I think that's our best bet. I really do. I really do. They could go for Tamwin if they want to, but Sunny Day is going to be great for us. And we're just going to pop the Meteor Beam. Meteor Beam flying out here. Let's see it. Let's do it. Let's do it, baby. So we're going to see a Terra pop out here, turn one. A nice Terra type. Is that going to be Kyogre for straight water? Oh, no. Yo, chill. Chill. Chill, chill, chill. You better not be going for a Rain Dance. Or if you're going for a Rain Dance, I would hope it comes out before my Sunny Day. It's... Mm. The thing in the sun, looking bad. Oh, you better not be going for rain dance. You better not be going for rain dance. You better not. Okay, it's not. Cool. You better not be sash either. You're going for like bleak wind storm here. You're going for bleak bleak wind storm. So as long as you're not sash, we get rid of that. We can then not have to worry about you. You didn't get off tailwind. No sash. Sash, man. What did I say about being sash? What did I say? Not cool. Not cool. Not cool being Sash. So there's a water spout. Still gonna do big time damage. My Tornadus! <laughs> it gets a crit on it! Okay. Okay, I was gonna say, that killed it straight up. Okay, got a crit on it. That's kind of upsetting because now they kind of have a lot of different control in this match here. They have a lot of different control, especially with speed. Especially with speed. Um. Man, I hate this game. I don't like this game one bit. Not one bit. I mean, they can do a lot here. They can go Rain Dance. They can go Tailwind. Um, ah, man. I'm going to go for Horn Leech here. I'm just going to protect you. I mean, I got a lot of speed with Eternatus, but us dying there was really, really a hassle. Really a hassle. So there's the Rain Dance. They're going for a Water Move. You have to be going for a Water Move. Yeah, cool. I'm water absorbed. How much damage can this Horn Leech do? It's a real question. How much damage is Horn Leech doing? Real question on the board. Enough. Enough. That's how much damage it's doing. So that's a big time KO for us. And a big time protect there, too. So they can Tailwind. They can take some speed control. Um, I could maybe swap Eternatus and save it because being 200 speed is really good for us. It's really clutch. 200 speed and especially for like the back end once trick room ends it could be really good but now they're just gonna go into real boom really really boom so really really boom comes out here i mean chances are i could just probably just go for like a follow me here i mean you could go for a bleak wind storm i could just look to go for a sludge bomb here and that's gonna be my play mm. i hope they pop a tail in here i hope they pop a tail in rather than a bleak wind storm because this could be a bad turn for us Pop a tail one. Go ahead, do it. Let's go. Alright, because I was going to say, if they pop Bleak with Storm, they can KO my Eternatus here. So there's the high horsepower. We soaked that no problem. So let's probably should be able to finish this off. And we get rid of you. Awesome. Beautiful. So I still have Terra, and I might send it now on my Ogre Pump, just for that special defense boost. Like, Eternatus most likely dead here. Let's be honest here. I could. Let's just protect it. We could just protect it. And I have Urshifu in the back end to deal with that. Cool. 
I like I like what we're saying. So yeah, I'm gonna actually terrasse. I'm gonna get a special defense boost. Um, oh man, this could be a little bit of a problem, especially with electro shot. What do I do here? I'll spiky shield first. I'll spiky shield first and hope that Eternatus can maybe eat up a shot and get rid of this Tyrannus. If I had to guess, Electro Shot probably popping into this Ogre Pond slot. Plus, we're wasting out Tailwind turns, which is good. There's Bleak Wind Storm. Can you soak this Eternatus? This one I'm hoping. Or dodge it. Or dodge it. Nope. Can you soak it? You don't. Okay, this is tough now. This is real tough. I mean, I got Sucker Punch. I got Wicked Blow ready to go. Um, Electro Shot, he's going to be plus one. Gonna be plus one. We're gonna block it though. Oh man, man, oh man. Archer Ludon. Like I said, rain team's tough, man. And that crit on my tornado is real tough. In the sun too. In the sun, sun. So get back some HP. I mean, that's my problem here. I mean, I think I have to sucker punch the tornado, and I think we do sucker punch the tornado, and we just keep our, our, our we keep our typing. So I'm gonna go Ivy Cudgel into this slot. Better than nothing, right? Better than nothing, and we just sucker punch this slot, and we get rid of that because we don't want we don't want a bleak wind storm land here. Bleak wind storm will be super effective onto both. We kind of just have to attack it. Plus, I don't think there's any other move that Tornadus would go into, considering the rain's already going, the tailwind's already out, and yeah, he does end up going for a bleak wind storm. So we sucker punch, we KO. Now I have Sash on my Urshfu. I still have Terra if I want to use it, and I might use it on my. That actually works better. I might use it on my Urshfu here. Might use it on my Urshu, because my boy, my, my Ivy Cudgel boy ain't doing much. My Ivy Cudgel boy ain't doing much, except for follow me, and that's probably what we're going to do. He'll probably just follow me out here. So we'll get the stamina boost. We'll we'll use our Terror type into Dark and get Wicked Blow boost damage. And we'll look to win this match. So yeah, follow me all day here with Overpon. Follow me. Go for follow me. We'll terrestrialize, click Wicked Blow. I could obviously go into close combat, but this thing's starting to get the fence boost. I'd rather just get the get the terror boost damage, get the crits going. It's neutral. Should be able to do enough damage. Probably KO this turn. If not, we, again, we have Follow Me. Playing a little support side on Ogre Pond. Should get another turn with this Pokemon. So not a bad match. We are just dominating Kyogre teams today. We love it. We love beating up on Kyogre teams because they're always such a threat. They're always so strong, especially Kyogre main teams. Always such a threat. So there goes Electro Shot. And this is why I want to keep our grass typing. This is exactly why I want to keep the grass typing. Don't feel like dealing with a super effective shot from this side. So he's plus two. This is still going to do a ridiculous amount of damage. My KO is. It doesn't. And we can actually follow me again and soak up another shot. Oh, I forgot. You were, you went minus two after Jerko Meter. So Wicked Boy is going to fly here and almost end the game. Almost ends the game. Almost ends the game. And he do have a berry, but another one should be able to finish this off. Is that Citrus Berry? Sure seems like it. Yep. Citrus Berry on the field. Rain is gone. Can't do use Electro Shot anymore. And this thing is neutral on special attack now. It is neutral. And we're just going to do the exact same thing. Pretty simple play for us. We're actually outspeed it now. So, Wicked Blow, follow me. They probably cancel. Nope. They said Arch Ludon, I want you to die. They're going to let their poor bridge Archer Ludon die out here. That's a dang shame. That's a dang shame. Bye bye, Archer Ludon. Thanks for playing. Another Kyogre routine in the dumps. They just turn off their console. We love it. We're 2 0. Let's go hop into a third. Final match on its way, and we're not going up against Kyogre, but we're going up against another Pokemon kind of similar to it Shadow Rider Kyogre. Just spams Astral Barrage, just like Kyogre spamming um, Water Spout. But from here, we definitely need some speed control. I like Tornadus here. Blue and Storm's going to be great. I mean, I am terrified of Calyrex. And that is going to be a big time problem. So I definitely I definitely want Urshfu here. But I'm going to lead Eternatus. And bring Urshfu in the back end. And last but not least, Fluttermane Urchiyu is going to be our best bet. And I'm kind of leaning towards the Ghost type Fluttermane. Actually, might be leaning towards the Dark type. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm leaning towards. Because they got Fluttermane, they got Astro Barrages. Fluttermane not going to suit too well up against an Astro Barrage. Neither is Chiyu really, but still, Chiyu is just lightweight. But I mean, with the choice specs, if I can get off at least one turn, that damage is going to be absurd. And we can really get after it. But this might be our first loss. We'll see. We'll see. We are playing really good today. 2-0. Kyogre teams don't stand a chance considering Sunny Day Meteor Beam has just been working great for our lead. We've been loving that lead. 
But now they don't have any weather control, but we're still leading Tornadus just for a bit more speed control if they want to lead Whimscott. We might just go into a bleak wind storm this turn. Really depends who they want to lead here. It's gonna be My Shell and Flutter, actually. So My Shell Flutter comes out here. We have Tornadus alongside with Eternicus. And the thing is here, I believe they're not going to. I believe they're gonna fake out the Eternatus, I should say. I don't think they touch Tornadus here, so I think we can we're we're pretty safe to just go for a bleak wind storm here and just protect you. Right? Because if because if you're going for fake out this slot, my tornado should be able to soak whatever they have. Should we fake out this slot? Yes, cool. Good read on our end. Like I said, Tornado should be able to eat up whatever it has to offer. So we can then tailwind the next turn. That's fine. You can go for Icy Wind this turn. Because we're going for Bleak Wind Storm this turn. We're looking for damage this turn. We're looking for damage. So he'll get the speed drop onto my Tornado. no big deal. Bleak Wind Storm flying. Super effective onto my shell. Can we get a speed drop on a Flutter Man? Onto the Flutter Man. Give it up. Love it. Love it. And the my shell. No, not the my shell. Okay, so now... We're kind of forced to go for that, uh, that Tailwind. And from here, I am just going to go into a Meteor Beam. So it ends up just Wide Guard here. We're not going for Bleak Wind Storm anymore. What are you doing, my shell? We're not doing that anymore. <laughs> Nothing's better than when your opponent goes for Wide Guard and you're like, I'm not used to double hitting moves. It feels so good. So there's that. Meteor Beam out, speeding. Fluttermane, show me you are dead. This could be a massive turn. This could be a massive turn. If Fluttermane dies out to this Meteor Beam, this turn is huge. As big as it gets. Let's do it. KO. 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 Ah! Ah! 1 HP Bandit on the field. 1 HP Bandit getting after it. That one hurts, man. We're, we're, we're up against two Pokemon on 1 HP. I mean, you could go for a wide guard this turn. I'm still spamming Bleak and Storm. But I gotta go after Flutter, man. More than my shout. 1 HP? Yo, that turn... If, if we KO that turn, that would have been huge. You wide guard. You son of a biscuit. You wide guard. That turn would have been massive. It would have been massive. We're still at speed and flutter moves. Great. And I mean, wide guard's working this time. But still, if you're going for wide guard, I mean, that's the only, that's the difference between like wide guard. Wide guard's great in certain situations, but when you're using it like that, it didn't really do anything because I still pick up the KO. Your My Shell lost turn and my Tornado's lost turn. So it kind of cancels out. The Calyrex now comes out here. I do have Tailwind on the board. Um, I'm plus one. You don't have Focus Ash, we know that for a fact. And... Hmm. I mean, might as well just use this, right? Might as well use Bleak Wind Storm. If you want to Wide Guard again, you can Wide Guard again. Be my guest. Be my guest. We'll go for a Dynamax Cannon. Dynamax Cannon flying. You're not going for a Wide Guard. How much damage are we doing here? Not enough. Close to enough. Astrobosh goes before my Tornadus. That one hurts the soul. But my turn just does soak, but my shell is attacking here, so probably finish off my turn just. Grim Nay boost. All right, you gotta go. You gotta go. Oh, you lost some HP. Did you die to that? No, you're on one. You are on one. What is up? Are you on one HP? Is that the third Pokemon on their team that's living on one HP? Don't tell me. It's just a bunch of one HP bandits over here. Bunch of bandits. Is it? I think it's legit on one. I think it's legit on one, but we have both these Pokemon, which are really good. Circuit Punch can fly. We got some speed with Tailwind. We love it. We love it. Yeah, you're on one H. What is up with this? All of them. One HP Bandits. Look at that thing. Absurd. Absurd. I mean, we could go for Wide Guard, or they could go for Wide Guard here. I think we'd rather just choice into a Dark Pulse, let's be honest here. Just because Wide Guard is just a pain. And we'll just go for Sucker Punch here. And we shall just go for Sucker Punch. So annoying, man. All of them, one HP. I can, I can legit, like, flick them, and they'll be dead. And they'll be dead. They'll be goners. But now they're sitting here thinking what they should do. I mean, Tailwind ends, I think, in one, one turn. Maybe two, but I believe it's one turn. But the problem isn't the Tailwind. The problem is the Sucker Punch from Urshan. That's the problem. That is the problem. He's just going to withdraw Calyrex. Okay. So it goes for the withdraw on the Calyrex. We're gonna go on into Whimsicott. Can this really do much for me? For him? The upper hand comes through here, which is amazing. I'm not gonna flinch. Dark you probably should have stayed on the field. You with upper hand would have flinched me. Probably should have stayed on the field. Now I'm choosing the Dark Pulse. Um, it's okay. 
Tailwind's gonna peter out here, and we're gonna double down on Whimscott because Calyrex is protecting her. Calyrex is protecting her. I have to make that read. Right? Calyrex is protecting her. So obviously, I could just sucker punch dump on dump into it here. I can obviously sucker punch dump into it. So he's probably thinking like maybe I should just attack. I'm gonna do this, and I'm just going to terrestrialize and go into a wicked blow into the Whimscott slot. You have to protect it. You have to protect it. Maybe I should just detect it. Yeah, it might have been a little bit better for us. I should have just sucker punched it. Let's see what he's doing. He's terrestrializing. Whimsicott's getting the terror type. Whimsicott's going psychic. Whimsicott's gonna die. We got dark moves flying into the scene. Show me the protect on the Calyrex. Show me the protect on Calyrex. That's what I'm reading here for the win. Because what I think he would do is protect the Calyrex and then like Moonblast my Urshfu down. Which makes the most sense, right? Unless you're not rocking protect. But you're life orb, so it's like you have to. I got you guys. See, yo, I, I, I read my opponents like books. Like books all day. Moonblast is still outspeeding me. Now it's coming down to the wire. Now it's coming down to the wire. But you going into this typing here. I know you don't have focus ash because you're you're in my shell have focus ash. But I'm gonna finish you off here. Get it on out of here. And can Calyrex KO me in one shot? That's 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 the question here. That's the question. That's what it comes down to. That's what it comes down to. That's what it comes down to. So we'll just hit Dark Pulse. Let's see what he does. Terra Blast can come out of here. We soak this. We soak this. We soak this. And we're gonna win this match. So big time reads from us. They're gonna die out to Life Orb. And we go 3-0 with this amazing Eternatus team. Eternatus thriving out in today's video. Meteor Beam to boost special attack, Dynamax Cannon, and Sludge Bomb for big time stab damage afterwards. Love this team so much. Pairing up Eternatus for Tornados was so perfect, especially because we went up against two Kyogre teams and countered them really well. But guys, that's going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spend some positive day. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.